The Cranberries singer Dolores O'Riordan found dead in London's Hilton Park Lane Hotel aged just 46 inches. The Cranberries singer Dolores O'Riordan has died suddenly, it was announced today. The family of the mum of three, from Limerick in Ireland, are said to be devastated by her death. The troubled 46-year-old passed away at the London Hilton Hotel. Police were called to the hotel in London's Park Lane at 9.05am on January 15. A Metropolitan Police spokesman said, police in Westminster are dealing with a sudden death. Officers were called at 0905 hours on Monday. 15 January to a hotel in Park Lane, W1. A woman in her mid-40s was pronounced dead at the scene. At this early stage the death is being treated as unexplained. Inquiries continue. Dolores O'Riordan pictured in 2007. The Cranberries singer Dolores O'Riordan, R, bassist Mike Hogan, 2NDR, drummer Fergal Lawler, 2NDL, and guitar player Noah Hogan, L, in 2012. The Hilton, in London's Park Lane. Rooms sell for £250 per night. A spokeswoman for the London Hilton added, It is with deep regret that we can confirm the guest sadly passed away at the hotel on Monday 15 January. We offer our sincere condolences to their family at this difficult time. Team members acted swiftly to alert the Metropolitan Police and we are cooperating fully with their investigation. Dolores had been in the capital for a recording session but her cause of her death is unknown at the moment. A statement by the band, who have sold 40 million records with hits including Zombie and Linger confirmed, Irish and international singer Dolores O'Riordan has died suddenly in London today. She was 46 years old. The lead singer with the Irish band The Cranberries, was in London for a short recording session. Dolores O'Riordan. No further details are available at this time. Family members are devastated to hear the breaking news and have requested privacy at this very difficult time. The star shared her final tweet on January 3rd, uploading a shot of herself and her cat with the caption, Bye bye Jio. We're off to Ireland. In recent years her music has been overshadowed by her troubled personal life. She suffered a nervous breakdown in 2014 following her split from husband of 21 years, Duran Duran tour manager Don Burton. Soon after she was pleaded guilty to headbutting and spitting on a police officer as she was arrested for an alleged air rage incident. The court heard O'Riordan was suffering hypomania, sleep deprivation and paranoia at the time of the incident which saw her get pulled off an Aer Lingus flight to New York's JFK on November 10, 2014. She was deemed too ill to attend court, with her solicitor telling judges she was receiving ongoing medical treatment and residential treatment. 
She was subsequently diagnosed with bipolar disorder and fined £4,690, with the judge refusing to impose a criminal conviction on someone who was mentally unwell. EBA award-winning Dolores with daughter Molly in 2008. In 2014 she told the Belfast Telegraph she suffered from a terrible self-loathing after being sexually abused as a child. She previously told journalist Barry Egan, he, the abuser, used to masturbate me when I was eight years old. He made me do oral sex for him and ejaculated on my chest when I was eight years old. It was inappropriate touching. For four years, when I was a little girl I was sexually abused. I was only a kid. Dolores subsequently developed anorexia and in the interview admitted that she tried to overdose in 2013. She said, it manifested itself in my behavior and the pathologies I began to develop in my early adult life, such as my eating disorder, depression and eventually the breakdowns. Of her suicide attempt, she added, I tried to overdose last year. I suppose I am meant to stay here for the kids. The singer also spoke of her battle with the booze. I am pretty good but sometimes I hit the bottle, she added. Everything is way worse the next morning. I chain smoke when I drink. I have a bad day when I have bad memories and I can't control them and I hit the bottle. I kind of binge drink. That is kind of my biggest flaw at the moment. In another interview she revealed how she couldn't have sleeping tablets around because if I have a few drinks I'll take them. She added, on her, it was just so easy to say, I can't sleep, I've had a couple of drinks, maybe I'll take one. Then you take another. Then you don't wake up. That can happen. I am careful now. Dolores O'Reard and pictured smiling in 2016. Last year she confirmed she had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and she previously opened up about her battle with depression. Revealing she struggled after her beloved dad Terence died in 2011 after a long battle with cancer. There have been times when I've struggled. The death of my father and mother-in-law was very hard. Looking back, I think depression, whatever the cause, is one of the worst things to go through, she told the Irish News. Then again, I've also had a lot of joy in my life, especially with my children. You get ups as well as downs. Sure isn't that what life's all about? Dolores O'Reard and performing live at Dublin's castle in 2000. 
talking about losing her dad in a 2017 interview with RTE, she admitted she believed he hadn't fully left this world. There was a lot of weird little coincidences and stuff that made me think that maybe he was somewhere in between. Not necessarily crossed over properly, she said. And we all wonder about death, where people go and what happens. But certainly they cross over from this dimension to another one. Last year the mother of three was forced to cancel a string of Cranberries gigs due to a bad back. Thanks for the many good wishes to Dolores posted on our social pages since the announcement of the cancellation of all our summer shows up to mid-August due to her ongoing back problem, the band wrote in a statement on Facebook. There have been some comments suggesting that Dolores could perform if she sat while singing. Unfortunately it is not as simple as that, it continued. Dolores back problem is in the mid to upper area of her spine and the breathing and diaphragmatic movements associated with singing put pressure on the muscles and nerves in that area and exacerbate the pain. Sitting does not give any relief and at times in her case it can actually worsen the pain. Please be assured that we would not have cancelled these shows if there was any way that Dolores could perform them. We are extremely disappointed that we have had to do so and again sincerely apologize to all affected and hope to get back to see you all at some time hopefully in the not too distant future when Dolores has recovered. Dolores and ex-husband Don Burton in 2005. Dolores O'Riordan at Fled Festival in 2001. However, in December she told fans she was back on the road, revealing she was feeling good after playing her first gig in months. Hi all, Dolores here. Feeling good. I did my first bit of gigging in months at the weekend, performed a few songs at the Billboard annual staff holiday party in New York with the house band.